welcome all in this section we are going to talk about 3d model review this is first part of total three parts where we are going to talk about 30 percent model reviews so what we are going to talk about what is 3d modeling what is its purpose what is 3d model review and what are various stages then we'll talk about purpose of 30 percent model review few interesting facts then we'll look into each and every discipline's checkpoint, especially with respect to 30%. So let us start with the topic. Now let us try to understand what is 3D model and what is the purpose of 3D model. As we all know, in process industry, there will be a lot of items, for example, the equipment, piping, instrumentation, electrical items, civil foundations. So all those things will make up uh, a complex uh, plant right so we before we get into the real execution at site we want everything to be at one place in three dimensional right so there are so many software which helps us to get the 3d model out of these things where we can see what kind of equipments will be there what kind of piping how these piping will be connected what kind of instruments uh, will be there and how they can be located so it is, uh, you can say it is a 3D represent, a graphical representation of all these items which are very much close to the real plant, okay. So with the help of this, this these plants are built at site, right. So whatever we will be uh, seeing at site after construction, we plan to look at those things in 3d dimensional much before those phases so that we can look into it we can plan we can execute all of these uh, things so let us see what is the purpose why we are doing 3d modeling right so as we know it is a very complex uh, thing process plants are very complex so there are so many things associated with it so just to come up with the preferred and more efficient alternative Okay, there are so many uh, ways to locate the equipment. There are so many ways to connect the piping. So there will be so many things involved. So there we can go for permutation combinations and we can come up with the most efficient alternative. So that is one of the biggest purpose. Also for development and set of uh, project goals. Now when we see uh, the equipments in 3d we can plan a lot of things we can pr plan the activities we can set the milestones and even for smaller projects we can start construction at site parallelly right so that means we can once we start developing the plot uh, 3d model right the project's goals we can always look into and we can always plan those goals developing design criteria according to the requirement so suppose we start uh, 3d modeling and we place a few equipment right we can look into the design requirements we can see how much space it will take right the foundation size we can look into underground lines we can plan with respect to the foundations pipe rack locations we can look into so all those design requirements will come into picture and those will start getting matured based on the progress of 3d model to identify potential hazards okay hazards and risks are something which are related to safety so in process industry safety is the most important thing so we really look into such uh, criteria as how to avoid uh, hazards or how to minimize these risks so 3d models really help into minimizing the hazards and risks also for developing a conceptual planning with cost estimation okay as we progress with our 3d model right then we can look into the conceptual planning also like how much concrete will be required how much steel will be required for structural how much piping will be required so ultimately we can look into the cost estimations identify stakeholders and look allocation of individual responsibility suppose we we model th uh, 10 to 20 equipment right so we'll see how much uh, foundations uh, will be there how much concrete will be involved so we can always identify the civil stakeholders 
how much handrails will be there how much how many platforms will be there right what kind of nozzle ratings are there so we can identify the mechanical stakeholders so we can start talking to those vendors so all those stakeholders uh, will be identified and we can always allocate the responsibilities with respect to those particular disciplines this is how this 3d model helps us in progressing uh, with the detail engineering also to identify rec uh, required regulatory necessities again this is related to safety we there are so many authorities regulatory authorities laws which we need to follow so we need to submit a lot of documents uh, to them so that they can uh, review those and they can approve it so that the next stage of the 3d modeling can start right for example before uh, uh, issuing the plot plan we have to submit it to uh, regulatory authorities so that they can uh, approve it right so that way those spacing uh, those coordinates of those equipment will be finalized so these approvals will be required so 3d model help us to extract those drawings and we can always share with the regulatory authorities so these are few of the purposes there are so many other purposes of 3d model which it fulfills so this is how 3d modeling is uh, important in process industry now let us see what is 3d model review right and what are the various stages first of all we need to understand this is a procedure right which is used to present the 3d model to the client right so that they can look into what is the progress whether the current stage of the design is meeting the project requirements or not whether the plant is suitable as per operability maintainability constructability safety and functionality right it reflects every discipline's input to the design up to that particular date so this procedure of 3d model is really very important in complex process plants where all the design engineers sit together and they review the 3d model by a walkthrough of the plant right how the plant will look like at uh, design stage at, at least that will be reviewed with all the discipline engineers any design changes required are discussed and listed at model review comments okay so each and every aspect is reviewed and discussed among all the stakeholders and the, if any gap is found those will be captured in the form of comments which will be taken care of after the model review so this is the whole agenda all the stakeholders uh, come together even from construction operation design uh, like all the uh, discipline nature they all sit together they brainstorm there they look into the progress they provide their uh, uh comments based on their past experience and based on standard practices so any gaps will be captured and those will be taken care to uh, develop the model further now there are few stages also if you see this cannot be done at single uh, stage so it is divided into three particular stages this there can be more than these three stages also but these are the standard stages for example 30% when a design team says we are ready with the 30% progress of the model or you can say 30% uh, progress of the design phase this 3d 30% model review is conducted same time same, similarly 60% and 90% model reviews are uh, conducted based on their design progress so percentage itself it it denotes the percentage completion of design stage okay so these model reviews are major checkpoints and milestone in engineering design process how it is a milestone for example there is a detail engineering contractor who is uh, doing the 3d work for a client and they go for 30 percent model review right and client is happy all the stakeholders are happy with the progress then the payment will be uh, associated with that particular milestone so detail engineering contractor will get some payment out of total contract after completing this 30 percent model review that means everybody is agreeing that th design is completed by 30 percent so 30 percent payment shall be given or whatever allocated payment is there for that particular stage that will be 
given to the detailed engineering contractor so there are so many other uh, things which are associated with all these stages so this is what 3d model is and these are few of the stages and if even even if uh, some particular information is not available at that particular time they that can be captured uh, as uh, model review comment and if these are critical comments then sometime there can be additional uh, that, uh, review between 30 and 60 percent model review so there can be few reviews internally or externally which can be conducted along with all these stakeholders to to establish that the requirements are met so this is all about the stages of 3d model review now we talked about uh, what is model review what is 30 percent model review what is the importance of uh, model review now let us talk about the purpose of 3d model okay why we are doing this first of all especially we are talking about the 30 percent model review to identify primary operational accessible maintenance points or platforms okay why we are doing this first agenda will be to finalize the location of equipment right so if operational team is there if construction team is there if maintenance team is sitting together they can always look into the progress of the 3d model they can see what kind of platforms are required whether the access is there whether the operator can go whether the uh, installation can be done or not those kind of aspects will be discussed so if any gap is there those will be identified to discuss and <clears throat> agree on overall plant layout qualifying hazard recommendation right and other project requirements so most of the time before 30% uh, model review hazard is already completed so we can always identify we have a list of hazards identified during hazard uh, sessions so those should be discussed with respect to overall plot plan overall equipment locations overall plant layouts along with other project requirements so once we do this right we can see how the risks are taken care how the hazard can be minimized how the recommendations can be implemented so those will be the uh, main uh, focus points to fix the equipment location considering the available information now we know we don't have final information so whatever is the available information based on that the equipment locations are fixed based on that only accessibility operational maintenance accesses are planned so those shall be reviewed to identify improvements considering the safety and operational aspects right when we are sitting with all these stakeholders from safety operational maintenance installation erection teams though those will identify the improvements how we can improve it that is the main purpose right to release foundation loads for structural design okay this can only be done if the locations are finalized okay we we talked about the equipment location we want to fix then we can see how much foundations how much concrete how much steel will be required so we can always calculate the foundation loads we can estimate you can say we don't have final data but we can estimate that will help in cost estimations we are not going to release the ifc drawing or not, we are not doing going to do anything at site but we can release the foundation loads so that the further design activities can be carried out to finalize the equipment nozzle orientation right how we can do this nozzle orientation we can look into manholes how the operator can enter into the equipment right how the roads and manholes are uh, uh, related how the accessibility is provided so those kind of nozzle orientation major uh, lines overhead lines right underground cooling water lines so those kind of major networks can be looked into so that the main nozzles can be oriented also this information can be shared with the vendor in advance so that once we start getting the vendor information those nozzle orientations are as per requirements to finalize the underground isometrics for fabrication underground networks are really very important those will impact on overall civil activities at site so these are specifically reviewed so once the networks are finalized those tentative routings can be shared along with drawings the project scope schedule and budget will be fine tuned in this stage 
if any major change is found if any additional land is required any spacing is required so those changes are done which can impact on overall scope maybe some additional scope is added or maybe some scope is deleted as per latest available pin IDs. then we can look into the schedule and budget how this will be impacting the overall schedule and how it is going to impact the budget so these at this stage these will be fine-tuned the project manager has to develop and commit a baseline schedule so this although they are they, they are working on it uh, much more uh, at advanced stages also but this again will be reviewed the baselines will be reviewed baseline budget will be reviewed baseline cost estimations will be reviewed so they can look into all these progress all these developments and they can fine tune all these baselines so this is the main purpose of overall 30 percent model review let us look at a few of the interesting facts uh, about 30 percent model review 30 percent model review means the design is complete by roughly 30 percent and this is one of the first milestones for model preparation so model preparation is one of the biggest activity for uh, any process industry plant so 30 percent model review establishes that okay we have done approximately 30 percent progress all design data is not yet confirmed okay at this particular stage we don't have any firm data for example we don't if, if any compressor is there there is no final drawing uh, from compressor vendor even there are uh, vendor finalization stage is going on so we don't have firm data not only for compressor but so many other things are there so most of the things are based on assumptions and past experience uh, details only it establishes the cost and timeline of the project okay for example we can finalize the uh, land requirement for a particular plant okay we can finalize the movement of cranes we can finalize the location of equipment and so so many things will be finalized uh, underground networks we can finalize so it will help us to establish the approximate cost and timeline of the project 30 percent model review generates the basis for plant layout how the equipments will be located how the accessibility will be there how safety measures are recommended right so so many things related to operability maintainability are finalized at this stage only the large bore critical lines are routed this is very critical right large bore lines will be modeled at 60 percent model review but critical lines for example uh, the overhead line from compressor right the boiler inlet outlet those lines which will impact the overall layout which can impact the location of equipment those has to be modeled right so that there is no further impact on plant layout at 30 percent model review stage the contractor and client meet to set a basis for further development of the design right once the equipment location operability maintainability all those aspects are finalized then the contractor and client they can sit together and they can plan further activities right so this phase aims to lay out the major design elements of the project and establish a cost and a timeline of the project so that is why 30 percent model review has a very good importance in overall design phase of any project now let us see how safety is checked during 30 percent model review so we'll look at few of the safety checkpoints specifically which are looked into during 30 percent model review so safety aggressive route walkways movement space so this is topmost agenda with respect to safety because there will be so many operators who will be uh, moving around uh, during operation so those kind of routes walkways has to be finalized for example if there is a valve there should be proper space to stand operator can stand and they can close or open the valve even if it is at lower uh, elevations then there should be a provision so that operator can sit so that much space uh, we should allocate even there should be some space for movement for example if two pumps are there and its suction discharge piping is there there will be so many piping uh, instruments valves strainers so those kind of accessibility has to be reviewed 
right there should be a movement uh, uh, for example if a column is located then it should have access from two side so mostly it is preferred that the columns are located at one corner of the plant so that two roads will be there for example this and this two roads will be there and column will be located somewhere else so that a crane can stand here and it can approach here from this side and from this side also so two cranes maybe one for lifting and one for orientation so those kind of uh, movement space walkways will be finalized so primary escape route in kind in case of emergency how uh, the operator can run right so those routes will be finalized even in case of emergency if somebody is running out of that space where he should land up where should he go so those directions arrow marking shall be done shall be identified at this stage checking of safety distance between equipment so this is again very important there are so many standards international standards uh, spacing for example shell standard aramco standards gap standards OSD standards are there so those criteria we have to verify whether all the spacing requirements are met or not hazard is most of the time it is done before 30% model review so identification of hazards is already done so we look into those recommendations from that uh, hazard session and we see how the risks and hazards are taken care in 3d right we, the whole agenda is to minimize the hazards only so these risks has to be looked into during 30% model review by all the stakeholders safe location uh, identification of critical items for example flares vents exhausts boilers columns so all these uh, things has to be looked into for example uh, flare has to be upwind column has to be located at uh, corner of the uh, intersection of the two roads or you can say the corner of the plot right so over at line how it is routed so those kind of uh, safe locations has to be identified for critical items right so arrangement of plant to optimize the maintenance requirement as we discussed about column if it is located at one corner we will get the access from two side similarly for compressors if it is inside the shelter and there is a motor on south side then there should be a road out uh, in the south side also that the crane can come and we can take out the motors out of it so those kind of arrangements uh, maintain where maintenance requirements are there those are looked into so that there is safe maintenance operations overall plant layout sequence now process sequence has to be followed to locate the overall blocks of units then if we go inside the unit the equipment location has to be look in has to be in such a way so that the process sequence is followed so that minimum piping is there minimum flanges are there minimum valves are required right hydraulics is uh, based on hydraulic the sizes are optimized so those sequences has to be followed so this has to be the uh, checkpoints of 30 percent model review with respect to safety only now let us look at few of the checkpoints from civil point of view which are really checked during 30 percent model review first of all main and secondary access road layout how the roads will be there how the vehicle movement is there how the man movement is there so primary and secondary access will be identified right or how what kind of periphery roads are there how the roads are connected between units how two units are connected uh, right how the crane movement is required based on that the uh, road layout is reviewed actually if any uh, observation is there from construction operation team then those are captured this will be including all the road crossings right there will be few piping corridors will be electrical corridors instrument cable corridors there we have to plan whether these should be routed underground or maybe through bridges so those kind of crossings will also be reviewed these are also one of the checkpoints structural and culvert culvert uh, how if, if we are planning underground uh, piping then at especially at road crossings then 
whether culverts are required or simply we can bury it or through bridges so these are the major checkpoints with respect to road layout especially crane access for construction this will be reviewed specifically with the construction and maintenance team what kind of uh, cranes will be required whether it is 50 ton 300 ton crane is required how it will be uh, reaching at particular location the movement uh, plan will be discussed location plan will be discussed how the equipment will be lifted right the maintenance item will be lifted those will be discussed based on this crane access route will be planned this will ultimately help in finalizing the road layout infrastructures like administrative building laboratory control room electrical room warehouse maintenance shop where a lot of concrete or steel will be involved right so this again is big checkpoint from civil point of view pipe track pipeways layout how the piping is routed the piping corridors whether it is sleeper or pipe rack whether it is one tier two tier three tier pipe rack those kind of things will be reviewed whether it is required or not if required what kind of foundations will be there if foundations are required uh, what kind of excavation will be required then ultimately it will be associated with the time line of the project and cost as to associated with those activities so it will establish a basis for those activities we are not saying at this stage this will be finalized but all these stakeholders from various disciplines they will start looking into those points location of interceptors and effluent treatment facilities right maybe suppose if there is an effluent treatment plant where there is a pond so how much depth will be required how big it will be what kind of concrete is required what kind of surfaces will be required if any chemical coatings are required or not those kind of things will be checked equipment support foundation and pedestals okay these three will be uh, specific items which are reviewed from civil point of view we know the major equipments which will be involved in a particular project what kind of sizes are there tentative sizes at least we can say we can look into what kind of support will be required for those equipment right then the foundation and pedestals uh, can be looked into this is how these civil activities are checked or you can say the civil checkpoints are there which will define the civil activities after 30 percent model review also let us look at few of the structural checkpoints which are majorly looked into during 30 percent model review right first of all the identification of required primary and secondary steel frames okay from structural civil team they they would be interested how much steel will be required how where it will be required right what kind of primary and secondary steel framing will be required so those will be the main agenda from civil structural team right what kind of pipe racks will be there whether it is steel or pipe uh, concrete if it is steel then what kind of joints will be there what kind of height will be there how many lines will be there how much loading is there on those steel so those will be looked into in detail at this 30 percent model review so primary and secondary steel framing how much it is required so identification of the same is main agenda intermediate frame and platforms right what kind of uh, cross sections uh, crossings are there uh, at roads what kind of platforms are there at pipe rack top right what kind of uh, frames will be required right so what kind of main accessibility with respect to stairs is required so what kind of battery limit platforms are there? so those kind of requirements will be looked into whether stairs are required or monkey ladders are required so the identification of primary and steel frames will be the topmost agenda then the next part is various architectural items including shelters stores technical buildings blast wall whether the blast proof walls are required or not what kind of spacing is there from critical buildings from process plant what kind of known process buildings are involved workshop technical stores open stores right so equipment rooms labs all those known process buildings uh, requirement sizes uh, right so that will be 
looked into various architectural requirements will be looked into right so what kind of uh, uh, operational team members will be there how many team members will be sitting in uh, admin building so those kind of requirements uh, shall be discussed during this session so based on this the store known process buildings wall requirement all those things will be finalized or you can say identified which shall be taken in detail after this model review major pipe rack locations okay the piping corridors will be there whether pipe rack is required or slippers are uh, okay instead of pipe rack so those kind of decisions will be taken if the number of lines are there how many lines are there what kind of sizes are there which will be impacting on the pipe rack foundations maybe even slipper foundations so those how those will be accessed so those kind of checkpoints will be there from civil side road layouts now we know what kind of equipments will be there right so we can say what kind of cranes will be moving what kind of cranes will be required at maintenance or maybe at erection time so based on that requirement the road width will be finalized so that it is safe there could be a safe operation or maintenance uh, activities based on that the road location road layout will be planned so these inputs once uh, these are checked with all the stakeholders from operation maintenance erection teams along with design team of course they they decide what kind of gaps are there what kind of additional requirements are there then only they uh, finalize they they identify and they write down what kind of gaps they need to fill so that the plant is safe for operation and maintenance so this these are the few of the checkpoints from structural uh, civil team side so let us look at few of the checkpoints from mechanical side which are taken care during 30 percent model review first of all the process equipment location all major process equipments what is the location whether these are located as per sequence or maybe the sizes the dia or the length and width are taken as per uh, the available information then crane reach how the crane can reach at that particular equipment whether the sufficient space is there what kind of uh, crane positions can be there so that the sufficient uh, safe operation can be planned safe uh, erection processor can be planned monorails and debit requirements for example there is column or compressors so then monorails and debits are uh, uh, really important uh, how these are what kind of monorails and debits are required what kind of uh, shelters uh, are available with us what kind of eot whether eot is uh, required or monorails are okay or maybe debits at uh, column top or maybe at pipe rack uh, top few debits may be planned so those uh, monorails debits eot's are reviewed during this model review session location and orientation of all equipment right and other space taking items so this is again very important orientation although we don't have uh, final vendor data with us but still the orientation of critical nozzles for example overhead uh, uh, line from column right column manhole orientation tank manhole orientation tank top vents and psv locations can be reviewed so those kind of orientations can be looked into so that there is a safe operation at later stage so if any comment with respect to the location and orientation of these equipments is there then this will be captured and will be taken care of after this model review package unit location there can be few packaged items uh, which will be involved in any particular process plant so those packaged location and its orientation what kind of battery element will be there how it can be optimized how it can be oriented so that the minimum piping is connected with that particular package so those kind of checkpoints uh, will be reviewed will be taken care during 30 percent model review at least primary operating platforms if any vessel is there tank is there right there will be valves and uh, maintenance requirement so those shall be reviewed those shall be checked during 30 percent model review designated layout area for chemical catalyst handling 
for example there is a vessel where chemical loading catalyst loading and loading is there so then the, the procedure how the vehicle is coming how the crane is coming how the unloading loading will be done what kind of brake flanges are required whether the additional fittings or space is required just to carry out those activities those will be discussed those will be checked whether the sufficient space is there for those activities for those loading and loading activities those will be discussed those will be checked if any gap is found this will be listed out and can be uh, looked into during next stage of the model review so this is how the mechanical teams checkpoint uh, are captured during 30 percent model review let us look at a few of the checkpoints uh, from piping uh, and electrical instrumentation point of view which are checked during 30 percent model review for piping if you see all major large bore critical lines will be reviewed these are those lines which may have impact on equipment spacing otherwise large bore piping is covered during 60 percent model review for example there is overhead line the inlet outlet lines from uh, boilers heaters right utility lines especially underground uh, networks for example if there is a cooling water network right so it most of the cases the size of these lines will be very high so the routing of these underground networks may have impact on uh, the equipment foundations maybe uh, these will be routed near to the road so it will be uh, clashing with the stormwater trench or any other uh, underground network for example firewater network right so firewater network is also reviewed during uh, can also be reviewed during 30 percent model review so that uh, we can estimate what kind of uh, um, material is used and what is the quantity of those because this will be a substantial part of overall piping mto so from piping point of view these are the major items which are reviewed during 30 percent model review most of the piping is reviewed during 60 and 90 percent only it's so only critical process that also large bore lines will be reviewed uh, at 30 percent stage from electrical and instrumentation major electrical equipment locations will be reviewed right that also from accessibility erection and operation point of view then preliminary main electrical instrumentation cable route as we talked about the critical piping same way the major uh, critical routing uh, is reviewed how the cable routes are planned whether these can be clubbed with slip on slippers or pipe rack if on pipe rack how the accessibility is there how the erection will be done if any challenge is there or not uh, while erection and operation so those kind of uh, things will be reviewed from electrical and instrumentation point of view again the main uh, location and volume of substation control room there are so many guidelines with respect to control room and substation location so those with respect to those guidelines the location will, will be reviewed along with the volume how much concrete how what is the size of substation and control room what is the requirement how the uh, major arrangement is planned within these substation and control rooms so this is important uh, from electrical and instrumentation point of view so these three things are majorly looked into during uh, 30 percent especially with during 30 percent model review so in this section we talked about 30 percent model review what is 3d modeling its purpose 3d modeling procedure various stages purpose of 3d modeling review then in few interesting facts then few checkpoints with respect to various disciplines so in next part we'll talk about 60 percent uh, model review don't miss out the links given in the description box related to quiz on this section so thank you for watching see you in the next part